Lamar, you have some visitors waiting for you for what you did at school today. Lamar, Lou and I saw that you got expelled severely again for having Rachel Bradshaw as a girlfriend and called the racist words to people, especially women. What kind of an act would you do such a thing like this? But Lou and Gibney, I'm too scared to tell you and your moms. I don't want to break up with Rachel Bradshaw. I've got a word to pick with you Lamar, break up with Rachel Bradshaw right now. Mom and Beatrice will write a permanent restraining order to both you and Rachel Bradshaw. Hi Rachel. We need to break up permanently. Oh no. Why is that? The truth is, you are not just my girlfriend, but you are the cutest female person in the Randolph Valley world. And so do you Lamar. You were brave, you were handsome, and I want to tell you this, you were like a lover boy, and I was shy and pretty and I was like a seduced and messed up girl. But I am going to spend the rest of my life to follow my parents and my clone's footsteps and advice of having a boyfriend anymore, like forever. I'm going to say my last final words to Lamar. Rachel Rachel. I'm going to miss you too Rachel babe. Both of us are going to miss each other due to the permanent restraining orders of separation that will be made by Lou, Giffany, Alexis and Beatrice, and Molly Peterson along with her clone and her family. I'm going to make my final words to you as well. Fuck her right in the Lamar. Pl I will never forget you Lamar. You will always be there for me in my heart. And oh, not to mention that my clone along with my friends and their clones are really mad at me right now. I have to go now. Farewell forever. Same here Rachel. I will miss you for the rest of my life. And look, Lou, Giffany, their moms and Molly are really pissed off at me. Goodbye Rachel. Rachel, are you fucking serious right now? How dare you say the F her right in the P word while breaking up with Lamar. You know that word is absolutely unacceptable. Yeah BFF. What is wrong with you these days? We even saw you got expelled severely for putting up gang related stuff and scored yourself a boyfriend named Lamar without even letting all of us from the Randolph Valley know and your Vyond friends and staff at the Vyond High School know. You are just plain sick. I agree with my clone. You're not supposed to get a boyfriend while you are in the next period of class, and then try to pull up a gang related item in the schoolyard. That is just plain sickening to our stomachs. You know what? You actually have gone way too far for all of this and now we are absolutely done with you and your stupid schemes. You deserve to be broken up with Lamar because he called a lot of people, including a lot of women the racist words. And we are also going to make an embarrassing video out of you and post it onto your wall on every social media pages and on YouTube whether you like it. That will also be your consequences. Go to your room right now, you disgusting psychopathic pervert. The uh, 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 oh. Lamar, are you fucking out of your mind right now? What made you think it was okay to say the F her right in the P word when you were actually not supposed to when you broke up with Rachel Bradshaw? You're a complete dangerous man because of that. Since you broke up with Rachel Bradshaw and said the if her right in the P word as well, that is actually your last straw. Not to mention that you went on a crime spree along with your friends and over a dozen of people. That is so fucking it right now. We are going to make an embarrassing video to see how you and Rachel like it. And you will never be allowed to see her for the rest of your life. That will be your consequences. And for going out on a crime spree, we are calling the police to arrest you. You are grounded for the rest of your life. Now go to your room, and think about how many victims you have traumatized, you fucking psychopath. You also deserve to be broken up with Rachel. Wow. Lamar, will you stop crying like a motor car for crying out loud? If you cry like a motor car again, we all are going to turn you into one and sell you on a dealership.